Hey guys, Merry Christmas everyone, and for today I'm doing a reaction video of uh, You're Not an RPG Guy, a Scott the Waz Christmas, Scott the Waz by Scott the Waz. Now this was requested by many people and that is understandable. Now this is a longer video so I might not keep a majority of it in. Like, there might be a lot of cutouts here and there. Ju just saying that because, you know, it's a longer video. But for today, since it is Christmas, I opened the wrong drawer. Ah, uh, here he is. Say hello to Jeff. Hmm, let me see. Hello. We'll turn him off for a second. I just want to, like, how do I keep him? I guess I could put him, like, somewhere on my bed. I mean... Maybe, but I don't know. He might not be like far enough. Unless I like move down my camera. I can't move it down that far. Okay, so now I've just made a stand out of books. So he's just gonna sit there and I'm hoping he doesn't fall off. Okay. Is it gonna work? Okay. Oh God, this is gonna be a fun video. But uh, yeah, I turned him off by the way. We're gonna be reacting to a Scott the Waz Christmas video, so this is apparently the newest one. So, uh, yeah, uh, go subscribe to Scott the Waz, that link will be in the description. And if you want to watch the original video, that link will also be in the description. But anyways, let's get right into it. What are you doing? The funeral home's that way! We're not going to a funeral. I knew that was- Oh, why was that audio off What center? the hell? Oh, okay. I guess he's here now. Oh, it's it's oh, it's one of these things. It's intervention. Okay. How about you just open your Christmas present from this year? Oh boy, I hope it's a snake. Madden '88 or Madden '808? That's what I'm trying to say. Is it that? Oh, it's Xenoblade. Oh, because that's an RPG. Oh, I kind of like the claymation and also just like the stop motion. That's good. And then that's this stupid thing's gonna go again. Oh wait, it's rehashing the past Christmas videos. Oh, okay. That's cool. Hey, men 18. All right. Yeah, so he stole all those. I'm trying to talk in long sentences so this thing wouldn't, wouldn't you know, would shut up. Hey, don't tell that to me. Hey, good news. We're not getting charged with kidnapping. I just got off the phone with the government, and we're on good terms. Oh, tell them I said hi. You know what, Rex? How about you go? Okay, that's a funny joke. That's a funny joke. Okay, you know, I'm done with this thing, because this thing won't shut the, the frick up, so, uh, you know, I'm just gonna toss it aside. I'm sorry, Jeff. You're dead now, but, uh... All right, yeah, we'll just get all this stuff off my desk. Okay, so now we're back in business. All right, let's just, uh, you know, let's uh, get back to the, the, the reaction. I thought you knew. <laughs> uh, I don't know what RPGs are. <laughs> but I think you're being a little bitch about them. Yeah, what are RPGs again? Oh, what? He doesn't even, they don't even know what they are? Then why are they talking myself? about it? As a therapist, I think it should be open to more things, like RPGs. And murder! I've tried RPGs! And I've tried murder! It doesn't count till you like it! So what are RPGs again? Okay, funny game. joke. So fairly obvious I enjoy more arcadey games. Now, what does that mean? Outside of me being wrong, well, it doesn't mean it has to be from the arcade. More so, it retains elements of arcade gameplay. Look at Pac-Man, for example. I can all day. Quick reflexes, simple controls, easy to grab. Okay, so now he's comparing RPGs to arcade games and just normal games. Got it. The concepts at play here really matter to me. If a game is like this at all, I'm gonna sleep well that night. This is probably why platforming is my favorite genre of gaming. You run and jump. It can't get much simpler than that. To anybody who has an argument against that, my mom never got Tetris. Pong? My grandma said, what the f*** is that? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's funny. I like that. Understand. That doesn't mean I'm opposed to other genres. I love puzzle games for a lot of the same reasons. Rhythm games can be incredibly satisfying and addictive. Adventure games are a dream to get completely submerged in. Shooters I'm awful at, but they can be a blast. Get to the 
<laughs> I don't like RPGs. Okay, I love that. that. That's is good. an RPG? Why would you ask me? Role-playing games are games where the player controls the actions of a character and slash or several party members immersed in some well-defined world. Oh, so oh, yeah, dungeon crawlers. I guess that counts. The definition of an RPG can be a bit hazy. I've seen people call the fucking economy an RPG. But you can't fool me. RPG is just like a cloud. I know one when I see it. Oh, there's no debate. Oh, yeah, no, I agree with that. Same here. You know one when you see it, too. Fantasy is generally the go-to genre of the genre. It kind of stems from the origins of video game RPGs, which were tabletop RPGs, like Dungeons & Dragons. I'll stick to Yahtzee. Of course, an RPG can be set in any kind of world, but just like how puzzle games love the colored shape trope, fantasy is the go-to here. And there's nothing wrong with that. Some of my best friends are a fantasy. So what's the big deal? I love fantasy. Not only that, majority of them are, are actually, like, anime-based. It's kind of obvious. Like Stalin? Stalin Fucking hated RPGs, but loved Donkey Kong Country Tropic. <laughs> <laughs> what? Freaking Joseph Stall? What? It's not Flint Smash Geister Burnout Crash. Not Mario Party Six or Ultra Smash. Okay, there's a song. Not expecting that, but all right. Yes. The games I play, whether good or bad, have tropes in common. My favorite two dads. May be rushed or plain or flawed, but they ain't RPGs. Oh, thank God. Are my tastes just bad? Am I the one to blame? Or is it RPGs that are dumb and lame? No! Why don't you play the They just take so damn Yo, okay, okay. I like that. This is like a Persona 5 kind of song. It is like, it's like an RPG based song. Like, you know. You know what I mean. It's almost like Persona 5 music. Number two, wait your turn, f the de facto setup for RPG. Oh, okay. Now he's gonna go on turn based combat. To be fair, I actually like turn based combat if it's good. Like, Undertale is good. I also like uh, Mario Rabbids. I think that was good. I like that. This is why video games are such a popular medium to tell stories through. You are a character. The story is happening to you. Your friends in the game start to feel real if it's done right. Most role playing games heavily depend on an engaging story, and of course, stories need conflict, so what happens? when danger strikes. Well, I'm walking around enjoying myself thinking, what's next? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> the, the main song. joke. The yeah, the, the, the like, duh, 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 you know, yeah. If it's trying to make me feel as if I am the character, going to the extent of having me name them myself, why are the battles like puppet shows? Well, I guess you could view RPGs as a performance. The origins of tabletop RPGs, you announce everything you're doing as if it's a book being written right there on the spot. So there's some showmanship to it all. It's a role-playing game. So it's like, these are actors taking- Yeah, I guess he, I guess he is right about that. This guy myself if I'm playing the role of him. Most of the time, the actor doesn't pick the character's name. I just don't feel like I'm doing anything in these battles. True, he's right about, about that like too. The actor does not pick attack. the name. Grinding almost feels like I'm exploiting the game sometimes. Like, is this really how the game was designed? For me to walk around in circles for two hours? Yo, he, he's also right about that. I will I will I give him that. He's also right about time. that. What about the stories of these games? That's why you play them. So here we have number five. Oh no. Oh no, don't bring up Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts story is absolute garbage. It's just so... It's so confusing. Stories of many iconic RPGs play out almost like they're a 4,000 page novel with stupid haircuts. Oh, and you have to do the same <laughs> That's a good joke. The jokes are really good, I like them. Scott, the lack of RPGs you play is horrifying. And I've seen bees. Oh, he means it. To show how much we care, I have a surprise witness. At an intervention? I present to you... Yeah, what? K-Swiss of Bankruptcy Patrol. Oh my god, you got a white guy? This is Scott's bank account <laughs> without RPGs. Sure, what? buying them, but he's spending all his time playing and buying other games. If he sat down and played an RPG, he wouldn't have time to waste money on other games. Well, at least I'm stimulating the Why economy. Why is there statistics? Anything, you're doing immense damage to the economy. You're buying plenty of RPGs, but you have no actual interest in them. Companies think you want RPGs, so they make more, but when more RPGs are announced, you get annoyed and tell people not to play them. Without this issue, people who actually want to play RPGs, buy them. Thus, supply and demand return to a renaissance, if you will. We call this issue the Scottless Economy. With you actually playing RPGs, we call it an economy. You son of a bitch, I love the economy! Now we have one what? of the big ones. Yeah, I got a RPG delivery. Jeb, yeah, why didn't you come earlier? Well, I work today. I love the economy. <laughs> I deliver RPGs to Avis Youth. So they're going to be RPG guys. Here. This, this is Madden. Yeah. Madden 08. No. 
No! <laughs> ah! Okay, I do like that. I do like that. Because, yeah. Anybody want to rent the second Basically game? saying Madden 08 is an RPG. A leap year this year. It's December. Oh, food's here. What is this? They're ribs. I thought we were getting a corn dog. These are nature's corn dogs. I can't eat ribs. I'm not hungry. I am vegan. Oh, come on. Somebody has to. I ordered the economy size. <laughs> Let's start Economy with a few size. that started it all. Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy. Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior originally over here in America. Playing this now, it is so simple and basic, but there's a charm to it. And many of the systems we see in RPGs today, they're here in full force. It's weird to say a game like this has aged well, because it hasn't. But when you put it side by side to modern RPGs, you start to notice more similarities and differences. Dragon Quest has always been an RPG staple, primarily in Japan. Over here, it's not as celebrated. Come on, this is America. I like Mickey Mouse and f***ing my wife. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> While I highly disagree on The Legend of Zelda being an RPG, at least one entry in the series is definitely one. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. You kill enemies to level yourself up in various departments. I like it. Zelda 2 gets a lot of flag, but it's honestly pretty enjoyable. And Nintendo's RPG series, I mean, we have the Mother series, or Earthbound, which has definitely helped many get into RPGs. Most games of this nature Oh yeah, isn't fantasy, Mother, Mother 3 is actually not that bad. I've, I've, as a kid. I've heard it's good. It made it stand out, and I think it helped many find more of an attachment with the genre. Now, Pokemon, on the other hand, can Yeah, right there, there we go. So many times, but I just can't get into Pokemon. Yeah, I, I mean, the boat on Pokemon, I played it as a kid, I uh, uh, I, I think I think I like the cards. The anime is fine, but the new games absolutely look. It, it sucks. It it freaking sucks. Then you have the beginner RPGs. Hey, the yeah, Mario Paper franchise. Mario, Super Mario RPG, yeah. Mario and Luigi, Paper Mario. Par and Paper Mario. I heard it's a. It, that's a great RPG. I've never played it, but I've seen. I've seen it. It, it, it looks good. Just gonna wean yourself on a Mario RPG before you jump into Persona Five. Holy f this game is so stylish and cool. Listen to the music. The setting is so <laughs> oh, neat. Okay. I think I've become an RPG guy. And I fucking hate myself. <laughs> what am I going to become? I use one okay, of yeah. Oh. Okay, I like that. It's good. Hello, my name is God. Donkey? Is this a target employee in this thing? Video game oh, donkey. We should, we should do something nice for him. I mean, yeah, because I forgot. Video game yeah, donkey is a guy who also doesn't like RPGs. Yeah, I'll go with Fling Smash. What the hell was that? <laughs> I just wanted to give you a formal warning on your recent performance as a human. You're really f***ing it. I don't want to f*** anything. What did I do wrong? First off, that time you drank that water and made a face, f*** you. I make water. Second off, you're trying to be an RPG guy. I thought that's what everybody- Donkey was. being God, hilarious. That's actually funny. Instinctive trait to not like RPGs. So that's why cavemen never played them. Then all of a sudden, evolution was like, fuck you, here's Ogre Battle 64, person of lordly caliber, the famous game that everybody loves, and ever since we've had a bunch of mutants walking around playing RPGs. So it's normal to not like RPGs? It's normal to not like all kinds of things, whether it's RPGs or murder. You never would have known. Scott, oh, murder. <laughs> you know who you are and what you like and don't like. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not an RPG guy. You know this deep down, but that doesn't mean you should immediately denounce every RPG that you come across. Even though RPGs were never meant to be enjoyed, people liked them for some reason. You should. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. I like that. I like that. That's good. That's good comedy. And also good commentary on just opinions. Okay, so honestly, this was a good video. Um, I, I'd say that the comedy was really good. I do like the story and also the commentary on opinions because, yeah, personally, I'm not really an RPG guy, but I know people who do like RPGs. So, yeah, I, I do agree that, you know, I understand why I also don't like RPGs, and but also why they like RPGs. So, yeah, honestly, this was a good video. I'd say as a Christmas video, I, I don't really know, because I, I don't really know if this was a Christmas-related video as much, because I feel like in the other ones, you know, it was obvious that, oh, this is Christmas time, and that's it. This one, eh, it was, uh, but hey, honestly, 
Still a good video. I think the story was good, the commentary was good. I like that Donkey was there, not expecting that. Honestly, good. It was good. It was a good video. But yeah, anyways, guys, so enjoy the like video, subscribe my channel. See you next one. Bye!